So we're playing against 2188. Uh, okay, let's play four in this game. So let's play something that uh, is much more, uh, how to say, I'm much more familiar with E4 stuff because I usually play E4, all right? D4 is just an experiment. Well, not that bad, actually. The opening was, was good for white. Bishop G4 immediately, okay. I don't think there is a big difference. Uh, with some slight transposition, it should lead to uh, one of the main lines here. So b7 is under attack now. So what tries to put the bishop on f4, if it is possible, uh, to control this long diagonal? And it's just a Karlsbad pawn structure reversed in many cases if black plays e6 at some point. So if you're familiar with Karlsbad, then you should know the plans in this position. So black usually tries to organize the um, minority attack on the queen side, white tries to attack on the king side, tries to bring the knight to e5, and so on. I like this uh, line against uh, Karkhan. Super simple, you don't have to learn a lot here. So the only requirement here is, well, you should be familiar with typical plans in Karlsbad pawn structure. Then, then it's simple, really. Okay, so let's develop the pieces. As you can see, there is no problem with the development. You just put your pieces on most natural squares. Also good. Then white usually castles, brings the rook to e1 and tries knight to e5. a6, by the way, uh, what was the idea behind it? Probably it was a prophylaxis against uh, knight e5, takes, takes, and then bishop to b5. But I have a feeling we can still play knight e5 in this particular case. Uh, queen will be probably forced somewhere because if knight takes e5, d takes e5, where the knight goes? To h5, super ugly, I guess. So I have a feeling that uh, black should have either captured uh, on f3 at some point, or maybe should have chosen c8 square for a queen. Because in this case, it feels not so good for black at all. At least at first glance, I don't know. We'll see. So knight is attacked. h5 doesn't look very attractive. But g8 is also bad, right? So knight doesn't have enough space here. And d4 is controlled. So if knight jumps to e4, I just take it twice. And I'm already a pawn up. So, all right. Knight g8. Uh, what do we have here? We have a much better development, which means we should try to open up a position, right? What is the easiest way to do that? I think it is to play c4. Let's do it. So... If d takes c4, I'm going to take with the knight and get to d6. Looks great. There will be also threat of knight to b6 with the fork. If black doesn't do anything, I will probably just take on d5, creating the isolated pawn on the, on the d file. Also looks very promising to me. And finally, if black plays something like d4, I will consider something simple like knight to e4, intending to bring the knight to d6, maybe immediately, maybe uh, with some preparation. Or maybe even bishop e4 attacking b7. What is better here? I don't know. Because bishop e4 kind of creates two threats. b7 will be under attack, and there will be also queen to g3 threat. Oh well. I don't know. Looks good. Knight e4 was also great, I guess. Knight e4 was also correct. But this is very concrete solution. So I'm just attacking the bishop. And if the bishop goes away, I take on g7, which is over for black. And if bishop is protected, then I just attack it with the h3 or f3, maybe just with the pawn. Yeah. Good position. Good game.
so far at least. What do you think? So Black made a mistake giving me a chance to play knight e5 and then recapture with the pawn, right? Probably after knight to e5, Black should have played queen to c8, uh, giving me a chance to take that bishop on g4 and uh, get a pair of bishops, but at least that position would have been much more playable than this, than this one. I don't see a great move for Black now, honestly. Knight h6 is not possible because I just take it and take on g4. As I said, h5, all right, just f3, let's say. And bishop is forced away from the g-file anyway. What else? Bishop e2, I just take on g7. Or maybe just play rook e1, so it doesn't change anything for black. Well, probably g5. Yeah, g5 deserves attention. But again, I will most likely just grab the bishop on g4. If black plays g5, I just take there. And if black captures there, there is still this queen g7 getting that rook. So should be lost for black, in my opinion. <laughs> so there is a nice comment rest in peace black yeah okay guys i think it's time for you to challenge me for a game just go to lead chess find a handle chess factor or find me streaming the chess factor streaming and just challenge me for a game because the main idea is not to actually play against random players i would like to play against you viewers and i know that some people are watching because there are comments on chat which is very nice so what to do now f3 or h3 which is correct i don't know for some reason i want to use this pawn I don't think there is a big difference though. G6, okay, I'll just take the bishop. Yeah, so should I take the pawn? I mean, why not? It's hanging. So now there is a positional threat of bishop g5, exchanging dark squid bishops. Maybe there is a tactical option like bishop takes g6. But all in all, we have extra minor piece it doesn't matter what we play here we have enough resources to convert this advantage okay we're back so what to do now bishop g5 looks just fine or maybe you know just bishop to d3 blockading the pawn on d4 so that preventing any sort of activity like bishop c5 d3 check and stuff and preparing this knight to e4 move because bishop is no longer needed on e4 it was needed only to win a tempo attacking b7 now i think e4 is a great square for the knight okay queen f3 also better square compared to g3 in this particular case because now we have this object of attack just a weak pawn And the knight is going to occupy e4, then presumably d6. Yeah, lost position for black completely. Knight to h6. Well, let's simplify this stuff a bit. When you have extra minor piece, or in general, the extra material, I think. Exchanging some pieces is not that bad. Yeah. I think it's time to resign. I don't see a single chance for Black to survive it. 
Okay, let's just bring the knight to d6. Hello, Andre, how are you doing? Thanks. I'm doing a stream. Of course, it's a joke. I know that uh, you should answer something normal to this question. Something like, how are you doing? But all in all, I'm fine. And I'm really happy you joined the stream. Thanks. So if I was not necessary, I could have captured on F7 immediately, but my position is absolutely winning here, so it doesn't matter uh, which order of moves I prefer here. I believe everything leads to just a simple win. G6 can be captured, uh, but I think that my rook is doing nothing, so let's bring the rook to the game, supporting the passer on the queen side. So C7 is a terrible threat. Now, queen is the only blockade, uh, blockading piece, I wanted to say, of the pawn. So maybe something like knight takes f7 may be played. Deflecting all the pieces on nc7, but it, it's not needed. So let's just take on g6 here. And I see the first challenge, which is great. The first bleeds challenge, I mean. So now bishop takes f7, right? Or queen h5, intending queen h8. I don't know. I mean, everything looks great here. So let's play queen h5. I think it's easier. If rook g6, we can take that rook. Because the rook means the f7 pawn. Bishop is protected, hence. And now the th main threat is just to play queen to h8. Another threat is just to take on f7 with the bishop. I'm not sure what black is doing here. Okay, it's just a checkmate in two, right? Rook f7 and then queen h8. No, queen h8 is uh, cleaner. Because if rook f7, there's still king g8. So let's start with this move. And after rook g8, there is rook f7 checkmate. Yep. That's it. So, as I said before, I guess black's problem with that, after knight e5, knight e5, and d5, the knight doesn't have a good square. Uh, but I would have probably tried knight to h5, to be honest. And then... If bishop e3, something like g5 with the pawn, well, I know it's super risky and probably um, even lost, but at least something, right? Uh, I mean, if there is no direct tactics after that, something like h3, bishop f5, attacking my bishop, so there is no g4. I mean, if there is no direct tactics winning the game, then I think black would have had much better chances compared to the game, because after g5, the knight could have jumped to f4, so on and so forth. All right, thanks for that. Um, one more thing uh, is that after knight e5, I, I guess black should simply ignore uh, this knight on e5 for some time, so just play queen c8. Okay, if I take the bishop, you also take... Yeah, I have pair of bishop, but it's just a slight advantage for now, so position remains playable. That's another suggestion. 